Hi there, Capricorn. This is Kim here to do a next 48 hour reading. This reading today is going to be one that I came up with for uh, the other signs, and it's working out pretty well. This is Osho Zen Tarot that we're using. And um, you know what? Let's first do, or I will shuffle, we'll cut the deck, and then I'm going to pull in a spirit animal or core whatever it is, Oracle, it's written down in the description. <laughs> All right, for Capricorn. Next 48 hour reading of something that they're not expecting to use your, not, not, not expecting, but use your mind wisely. I have 47 pig spirit. Use your mind wisely. <laughs> I also have 66 White Raven Spirit, Trust the Magic. And then I have 54 Spirit, Skunk Spirit, which says, Know Your know your Worth. There we go. Sorry. All right. So those are your Oracle cards. I love this. Um, all of them. I love all of them, really. I like the colors, but I like, I like the bird ones because it's a higher perspective. Um, and it says, Trust in the Magic. Never seen a White Raven. In, in like person but okay so what good is coming that Capricorn's not expecting next 48 hour what good is coming that Capricorn's not expecting oh so this is to have fun <laughs> but it, it, it is um it's a page, so it brings about good news. It brings playfulness. Sometimes it's flirting. It's like that type of behavior. Um, if it's just representing like the energy that's there. So that's what you're not expecting is you're not expecting to find passion or new passion in something or in, in, in this. Because you, you can look at it as an opportunity, but it's going to be an opportunity where you have a lot of fun too. Okay, this spot is what is keeping you focused and grounded at this time or during this time? What will keep you focused and grounded? The three, um, okay, Empress in reverse. So it has to do with um, you giving yourself a little extra self-care um, or a little extra attention than you normally do. What um, from the past is Capricorn carrying with them to the present, possibly future? Their own energy. Well, this is good, though. Um, devil energy. It is uh, to break in the Osho Zen Tarot. It's about breaking through, free from conditioning. Kind of looks at social conditioning as being like the devil that takes the spirit out of things. So knowing um, that you're really unique, you're not just one of the sheep too, is, is a big message here about conditioning, knowing who you are. What is the um, energy that's so big it might take over? The Six of Swords. Uh, in the Osho Zen Tarot, it's more so about these objects representing the thoughts that burden your mind of others for others like only others problems or something like that it's kind of letting go of that it it's it's usually talking about actually physically like on the card it's usually physically a person's going somewhere it's going to be better once they drop their burdens is, is the kind of the message of that so there may be some travel or something like that too indicated or a journey um Maybe something really quick. Tell me about your strength. What is your strength at this time? The hangman energy. The ability to see things from a different point of view, a higher point of view. It allows you to um, embrace different dimensions and create from different places. From places where people are like, how did you even think of that? It's because you're creating from this place of... Um, well, it's just on a different dimension. You're just different in a good way. So all of this may be waiting around and sacrificing because these are energies of somebody who, who is um, for the sacrifice. The sacrifice is made. Interesting that these two have the same 
you know, um, position. Maybe you're doing something with yoga too. What would that pose be? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but it's, it's really neat. It's like, uh, opening your chest up, getting a good breath of air, leaning back, seeing from a different view. Okay. And your next card is the outcome and that's the ace of cups kicking back. It's the time to float. <laughs> this is, um, so this is maybe what you're not seeing. That is usually a loving new beginning. Love begins. Going with the flow, flowing around obstacles because you have the Ace of Cups. So advice card, I don't know if you'll even need it. You've got beautiful, other than here, than to give to yourself um, with that three. Oh, I have another three. Three of Wands. I have the Lover's card, and I have a Page of Pentacles. Phew, beautiful. Beautiful advice. There's so much energy coming in to offer a new uh, adventure or offer something that will be akin to having a new adventure, a new start. Maybe even a new addition could be an investment. Um, the, see, see how, like, this is the new adventure here. It's with this person or with this soulmate energy. This is also being at a crossroads and you're having uh, to make a decision. The three of wands kind of lets me know that you've thought this over or you have, you are going to have this planned out. Um, this is interesting. This is really interesting. Bottom of the deck is the nine of swords in reverse. So that's um, pulling out of a time of maybe even depression or anxiety. It's um, finding your solution. And I feel like your power is that because of your perspective, because of your shift in view, you're able to create from these different dimensions. <clears throat> so yeah, this card might be about being a little selfish here. What's keeping you focused is knowing um, that you do need to every now and then take time out for yourself. That's really interesting. It's a good, it's a really good reading. I don't know if we're going to clarify or if we're just going to add to it. So I think we're going to add to it. <laughs> we're going to pull from um, Heavenly Bodies Oracle and let's see what it wants to uh, add. And I'm in Skunk Spirit. Know your worth. This is beautiful. This is, um, soulmate energy or somebody that is meant to be on your path to provide possibly this opportunity that's coming up what do you want to add for capricorn's reading here next 48 hour what do you want to add to it house one individuality self-image and approach to life your vision your vision, not three of wands. Um, consideration, fairness, and harmony. I have Libra. Libra. Balancing the scales out, too. There's usually something that comes into balance or that is needing to come into balance. Um, could be um, a justice matter, too, though. You see the pearl of wisdom on the scale. Of Neptune dream and transcend which what it looks like this ace of ace of cups <laughs> and you have Gemini curiosity intellect and networking skunk spirit know your worth house six establishing a foundation health daily life and practical details practical details okay tea leaves Butterfly, a change for the better, pretty. And I love the colors again. Beautiful colors. Looks <laughs> so sweet little pig. Barrel, you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. Leg, stepping into a new experience. Nest, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Moon changes in your life. Moon changes in your life. And then money path. This is the crossroads 
this is the path with the lover's card gemini energy a path with money is waiting for you to find it a path with money is waiting for you to find it and it is indicating that whatever this is this new this thing that's coming it's going to be something you'll be passionate and it might and it turn into something that you also love doing or love Um, have faith, dear Jesus, Archangel Raphael. Thank you for boosting my faith so I may trust in miracles. Okay, and then I have call upon Archangel Raphael for help. Thank you for your divine healing intervention. And then I have massage on the bottom. Please help me know that I deserve to receive massages and other self-care treatments, which is exactly what that empress in reverse was talking about it was it was okay angel number message you have a lot of so virgo aries aquarius taurus virgo capricorn i have listened to your intuition which is what that moon is telling you to um, listen to your intuition. There's changes in your life. And then here's the card that says, you're ready. Not get ready, but you're ready. Maybe go have a massage. I thought one flipped over. Well, if it did, we'll see it again. Major life change. Time is right for a major life change, such as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and a trouble-free existence. I also have signs your future positive direction will reveal itself and any doubts and confusion will soon disappear. Rain, rain comes today. Let all your troubles wash away on the money path. Rain and money. Sunrise. Every sunrise sings a song. Don't worry. Be happy. Just sing along. And that's what I've got for you all. So sending you love and light. Thanks for joining me. If you need a private reading, you can reach out to me. My email is in the description box below. And hit like and subscribe. Thanks, Capricorn. Bye-bye.